Hey everybody, it's your guy Cliff again, and I had to do a, a second video because I didn't want to be in the first one. And you know, I'm gonna try not to say the terms, so we'll just say terms instead of the C O V I D dash 19. I'll say the pandemic. My reason for making this video is, you know, since its inception in the lockdowns and everything, you have this influx of internet science scientists and people that are in kind of fields that are related, you know, like you might have somebody that's a podiatrist and they'll be telling you, well, I'm a doctor. I was on the front lines. I worked on someone's feet that had that had COVID. I know what I'm talking about. Blah, 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 blah. Or you might have somebody who is a un completely unrelated uh, field like uh, interior design and they'll say something that sounds catchy and witty and, and it'll read uh, well if you cared about other people and this and that and then you would wear the mask and then you get some doofus that posts that as if it's fact but then if you go and click on the person's name that they are posting from you find out that they are from a completely unrelated field except it has all these comments on it that are like you go and see yes in the little this in the arrow pointing up and i'm thinking to myself the whole time uncensored fam i'm going okay so what is it about these people that they think that they know any more than you do when they're basically living in denial since the inception of this thing, it's been one lie after another. First, it was two weeks. Then it was three months. Then it was a year. Then it was a year and a half. Then it was you need one shot. Then it was you need two shot. Now it may be three. And keep in mind, it's not approved by the Food and Drug Administration. And the fact that they keep flipping the page and changing the script, first the arrogant Satanist Fauci comes on TV and he says he's the science. How arrogant is that? But he also will say, oh, the masks really weren't that effective. Right along with the woman from the CDC, oh, it ain't really effective. Then after they say that, three weeks later, I'm looking on the internet, there's some hit piece that says masks actually do work. Now I'm saying to you, my point in this is that you don't have to be a scientist. You don't have to be a fucking brain surgeon to realize when you're being bullshitted. And ladies and gentlemen, Americans, the federal government is lying to you. Okay? Oh, there's no money for homeless, there's no money for this, but Joe Biden, the dictator, grandpa in chief, the man can barely speak complete sentences, you know, he'll tell you, oh, there's no money, but they, billions of dollars, 42 executive orders in less than six months. If there was anybody else, he'd be considered a dictator. But all the drones, and I tell you who's most annoying with this shit, my favorite people, the white liberals, the elite that know everything and have to help us black folk stride through and save us. And a lot of these hood rats and these pro-blacks like that shit. Not even realizing you're being condescended to. You're being looked down upon, but that's another video. But I like to point out Grandpa Chief thinks that blacks can't even uh, write a check, get an ID, work the internet but you people got a good president out of office who you twisted the words and added stuff on and now we're stuck with two completely evil and untrustworthy people remember kamala in the debate called that man racist this that and the third and then when she was confronted about it she said <laughs> it's a debate <laughs> it's a debate hey it's a debate and all these morons Mostly white ladies kept going, we have a woman in office. No matter what kind of person she is, they were just happy they had a woman. They don't even print, they don't even, you notice that the media doesn't even play all that Cuba footage when they were telling her to go home? So you got even people of Latin descent realizing these people are full of shit. You know something, I would trade every, every one of these people that shit on the flag that talk crap about this country and want to usher in socialism, I would trade every one of them. Just bring them Cubans over here. Just bring them people from Hong Kong over here. I don't have a problem with immigration. Just bring them because these are people that are proud to be in this country, that want to be in this country. You know, I would like to see how, la how long some of these idiots last without big daddy government holding their hand and telling them what to do. 
You see, I don't associate myself with any political party. I am mostly anti-government, to be honest with you. Because they're both two sides of the same coin if you wanted to want to break it down. And that was the only reason why I like Trump is because he, he wasn't in that realm. And he didn't need their money. And this is what pissed him off. This is why they did that conspiracy to make you think he was racist. Let alone, even though you got Grandpa and Chief KKK Joe, if you look back on his history. But they didn't bother to look at his history. These people are still trying to get Trump's tax records. And this man is just racist as hell. Going on TV with stupid Cardi B to communicate to black folks. But we just lock stop, not even noticing that he didn't give you anything you asked for. In fact, after he was elected, he told you to shut the hell up. And just deal with the circumstances that you get. So I'm going to close this video by saying, yes, you know, I feel ashamed because I was a pussy and I got, I took one shot. And it's because they got, they got to me. I really wanted to be without the mask because in this hot weather in Chicago, it was killing me trying to breathe through that shit at 95 degree plus temperatures. Even though I've been working through the whole damn thing on the nasty ass red and I've been working through it. You know, and this should be the time where they should be pitching, taking care of your body. They should be advertising things that help you take care of your immune system. And I'm going to get a little tin foil on you. There's a reason they're not doing it. There's a reason because what they're doing is they tell you to take a shot. They're looking at the results. Oh, this is not working. Well, we'll try this now. So far, the latest is, oh, well, it doesn't help. It doesn't help defend against it. What it does is mitigate the symptoms. You mean like fucking NyQuil? Or Dayquil? Because if you're shooting me in the arm with some shit that you don't even understand what it is yourself. Oh, but you're a fucking foot doctor. You don't understand what it is yourself. Right? It's not approved by the Food and Drug Administration. And all it does is mitigate the symptoms. Okay, so NyQuil or Dayquil don't actually cure the common cold. But it helps with the symptoms. So that you can get through the day. So if you're giving me a shot that helps with the symptoms... It's supposed to be, a, but you told me it was a vaccine, but it's really not. And you keep changing the story on me day after day, week after week. What am I supposed to think? But I guess all you internet scholars and all you people that work in side fields that aren't particularly related, I guess you all are right. Basically, if you're not a, a virologist, you shouldn't be talking. You shouldn't be giving advice. Especially when most of the time when you people talk, a contradiction comes out. And then you don't, you know, oh, and then you don't listen to it. It's just everybody is crazy but you, right? So everybody out there, I am debating. Let me know what you think in the comments section. You know, I'm due for my second wussy-ass lie of a shot, which is not going to give me what I wanted anyway. You know, August 17th. And I really don't want to do it because I am so sick of this shit and i don't think that any of it's true i think they're just using it for election purposes they're going to string this shit out as long as they can all the way up into election time and then when it gets close to election time they're going to miraculously cure it and then you know and then give biden all the credit for this shit so don't be like me out there uncensored fam i would say stay true to yourself this video may get you know struck and down but i'm just going to say stay true to yourself Make your own choices and do not let these crazy, elitist, weirdo, leftists influence your decision. Stay true to yourself. Stay strong. If you like the video, let me know what you think in the comment section. Give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you think I should get the second jab because I'm really on the fence about it at this point. Um, I do feel like I failed myself. I do feel like I gave in to the pressure and I own that as a man and I feel that I suck and can barely look at myself in the mirror because I feel like I got played. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Did any of you guys get a jab? Are you considering getting the jab? What do you all think about this? I think that the government is lying to us and that they're full of shit. And I'm not going to let these people tell me anything different. What I'm going to do is keep taking my vitamins and taking care of myself. Because for all we, you know, for all we know, hopefully the shit gives me superpowers, which would be great. But no, I probably just succumb earlier or die of something earlier than ever and then i won't you know then they'll say oh we didn't know anyway everybody thank you for listening to my rant please give that video a thumbs up so that uh we can grow the channel and we can grow the uncensored crew i appreciate all of you that have stuck with me this long uh take care of yourselves take care of your immune system exercise run walk push-ups eat your fruit and vegetables research how to take care of yourself so that you can defend yourself which is true defense of this shit is your immune system 
Take care of yourselves. I will see you next time. There is no fable we make for ourselves. I'm Cliff London, and I'm out.